हाँ हे हाय एवरीवन वेलकम सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू शेयर माय स्टेट स्ट्रीट इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एंड द इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस व्हाट ऑल आई हैव इनकाउंटर्ड इन द इंटरव्यू सो लेट मी क्विकली डिस्क्राइब लाइक व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर हियर सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर माई जावा कोडिंग इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंगलर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस एंड इंटरेस्टिंग मैनेजर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस सो इफ यू आर एन एक्सपीरियंसड गाय डोंट स्किप द मैनेजर राउंड इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस बिकॉज देर वर ट्रिकी मैनेजर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चंस हियर दैट आई वुड से विच आई हैवेंट इनकॉर्डर इन एनी ऑफ द अदर इंटरव्यू दैट आई एम इन अटेंडिंग सो आई होप इफ यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो यू आर लुकिंग आउट फॉर ए चेंज एंड ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर दैट and one more thing is like if you are watching this video for the first time please do visit our channel there are n number of videos like similar kind of videos which we have already shared and please do subscribe to catch all the updates because there are n number of videos that are coming up which are in the queue with different mnc's so let us start so what how to find duplicate characters in a string so there are n number of ways to be honest so the important key here is like the best technique the what is the time complexity that your code is taking that was the main thing the uh, interviewer was looking out for so practice practice is a key to crack state street interview or else it would become very difficult to crack the coding questions and one more thing here is like there were completely three rounds like one was online there two were face to face discussions and in this video i'm only sharing face to face discussion interview questions that two coding interview questions of java and the second question of coding is how do you find all the permutations of a string look there are n number of ways to to find the permutations of a given string but again i would say like what is the best logic that goes on this this you can arrive only when you are practicing lot and practicing means doesn't mean that you are practicing this on eclipse practicing on white papers try to write code on white papers because even i take interviews and i see people forgetting the method signatures while writing the code on white papers and this would give a very bad impression to be honest so practice practice the code find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters again if you are not aware so please do google it practice it and att attend the interviews without practicing the questions i would say don't go for interviews only because today like current situation is like every every company is looking like there is a round coding round in every company like there are different uh, online portals which are providing this exams they are only upon cracking those interviews like coding interviews only they are calling out you for the interview so practice practice one of the such is hacker rank how to remove the duplicate characters from a string this is a very simple question i would say because i have already practiced so it was pretty much easy for me to crack the interview like to crack the code there next question oh this one comparator so if you are saying yourself a java developer and exp and having an experience two plus or any i would say and if you are not knowing comparator and comparable believe me that will show a very that will indicate a very wrong signal definitely nobody would like to pick up a guy who doesn't know about comparator and comparable in java so please do practice on that so this was a very real time close to very real time interview questions so like write a comparator in java to compare two employees based upon their name id and age so in real time also you will encounter n number of times while where you have to write a comparator to compare the two customized objects so please do practice practice is the key here so next interview section is manager round questions oh my god he really nailed the questions here and i hope you people like this question as, as well so first question was like explain how you prioritize work when everything is a priority so when everything is a priority which work you would pick up first indirectly he means that so when everything is a priority and if that means everything has to be completed in the given amount of time so i covered the answer like so when everything is a priority i would pick up the top priority and i will extend daily few hours and i will i would come on week weekends to complete the committed work on the given time so he was pretty much convinced with that 
so the next question was like what was the biggest or the most challenging project you have ever worked or you have ever managed so to be honest my first project where i was a fresher where i was not known of many things that was the biggest challenge i have ever faced in any project because i was not knowing many things many tools everything was new mnc's were new it was new software were new because i was from electrical background engineering and so that was the one of the toughest project and i have explained him the same and explained him how i have conquered that by practicing by learning by studying by going through online by going through youtube videos and he was pretty much impressed with that as well so the next question was like how do you resolve conflicts in your project so conflicts here is not the git conflicts or code conflicts he is talking about the opinion conflicts like when when usually whenever we go for code peer review some xyz people person will write a code in some way and abc guy will write code in some other way so how do you uh, how do you resolve that such kind of type of conflicts so i have said like basically we are, whenever we find some thing like this i would go to my project architecture or tech lead and we'll sort it out the issue so i was a bit convinced with that answer as well so the next question was have you ever failed in a project do you have any experience of handling failures so interestingly yes i have failed in my as i as i have earlier said i had failed in my first project itself where there were null pointer issues there when there where there were prod issues where there were diff, number of defects on my name and everything was a mess for me but later on i have nailed it everything like as i gained experience and how i cry, uh, how i solved those issues i have explained him how like what ways i have used to overcome all those things and believe me he was really like what do i say bit impressed with that answer the next question is like what can you offer me then other person can't so i have said him if you take me i'll give you quality code zero defect code and i can stretch on weekend as well to complete the committed work and believe me this worked so the next question section is angular so here the first question was like write a code from scratch to demonstrate that you know angular so the expectation was to write a complete pro angular project setup right from index.html app.component app.modules and everything and the requirement was to print the hello world on the screen whenever i run the project so as i have a very good hands on experience in angular it was a bit easy for me to solve that so please do practice angular interview questions as well so the next question is what is the difference between like why do you have ng on init when there is angular constructor already so if you are not aware of this question please go through google and search why ng on init when there is constructor already the next question is uh, this uh, this he asked because my current project was an angular 8 so obviously i was well prepared for this as well so what's new in angular 8 or what are the features of angular 8 was the question so i was well prepared i had set of points to explain i have explained them in a very proper way so please do prepare on the latest versions that your project is if it is on java 1.8 prepare java 1.8 features if it is an angular 8 prepare angular 8 features what is the purpose of wildcard route to be honest i was not aware of what is wildcard route at that moment and i have said the same thing to the interviewer sir right now i don't have any experience like don't have any knowledge of what is wildcard route so he said okay god bless him and the next question was like what is host listener and host binding in angular so if you are saying yourself an experienced angular guy you would, this is a must question in every interview what is host listener and host binding if you are not aware of it please go through google and study about it and this was the last question in angular write the sample jasmine code to unit test the code which i have already written to demonstrate the hello world program hello world thing 
so as i was having experience in writing jasmine j units as well so i was pretty much okay to write the code so with this uh, i conclude the interview questions i hope this may be helpful to someone who who is looking out for an interview with state street and if you haven't subscribed yet please do subscribe or at least share this video to some other technical forums so that this may be helpful to others and if you want to contribute as well you can send out us mail uh, you can find our mails in our, on our channel so please you can share your interview experiences or interview questions as well so chalo with this i'll stop the recording